Hi, my name's Maren and today I'm going to show you how to do basic image editing with PicMonkey. So PicMonkey is a cool online photo editing tool that I've been using for the last couple of years. You can access it from any browser, you don't need to download anything. The premium version is $33 a year which is well worth it. So to start with we're going to upload an image that we've got saved to our local drive. So we're going to go edit and I'm going to upload it from my computer. Um, and it's going to be this one here. When you first open an image in PicMonkey you're shown the basic edit screen. First thing I'm going to do is click the auto adjust button just to see what it would look like. It's okay, but I'll just go back to what I was. Um, and before I do anything, I don't like the angle that this uh, horizon's on, so I'm going to go to rotate, and I'm going to straighten that very slightly. And apply. And now, because I know the image is quite large, I'm going to resize it. You can see it's quite large because it's only showing 29% zoomed in. So, as, as you can see, it's over 2,000 pixels. I'm going to resize that to 640. I'm keeping proportions. Um, if I didn't keep proportions, that would be all skewed. Um, you can also do percentages, so if you want to do 50%, um, 75% of the original. Um, this is 21%. I'm just. I want it to be 640 wide, so I'm going to do that and apply. And now you can see down here, it's 100%. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop because what I want to do is a long thin banner. So I can use the um, size to adjust. This to the size I want, or I can go over here and type it in, which is I want it to be 640 wide and 88 high. Um, you can go over here and choose an exact um, a preset dimension, um, Facebook timeline, um, we've got iPhone dimensions, um, and I'm also going to move that around to about there and then apply. Um, we'll just go through the other options here. Canvas colour is um, when you're designing an image from scratch you can choose what background colour you want but because we've uploaded an image we're not going to do that. Just go cancel, uh, rotate, we can rotate it up, down, sideways. Um, exposure I don't normally do much but of course you can adjust your brightness. Um, colours, I don't do anything here either. Um, nor would sharpen. So I come in here and I do resize, crop and sometimes canvas colour. Okay, so the next one down is called effects uh, or filters. So I'm going to put in a filter, you can have a look around and um, try and find which one suits your image. Um, I'm going to do Intrepid. Um, and what else do I do here? I There's loads of different options. Um, it's good for the drawing button, um, tool. So if you've opened up an image that's got a white background um, but there's some text on there that you don't want, you can simply go to draw, um, keep it as white and then draw over it um, to rub out that, the text or a logo. Um, you can also select a different colour by clicking on here and then choosing, so you want that exact blue and then you can come and scrub it out over here. Um, and also I do clone. If you want to again scrub out something but it might have a pattern on it so you can't use the draw tool. 
So using clone, you can find your source, and then that you want to rub out. So that's quite cool. Um, the next one down is touch ups, which are great for faces, people's faces. You can airbrush some wrinkles out, <laughs> put a widen some teeth, put some eyeliner on. But today we're just going to go straight down to the text tool. So the PicMonkey text tool, um, they have all their own text uh, fonts here. Um, if you're wondering, the little crown next to these ones here, that means it's the premium version only. So when you pay um, your $33 a year, you get access to everything. Um, and recently they've just um, started doing this, so you can go to yours and then it will read all the fonts that are installed in your computer. So if you're using um, a font for some other marketing, then you can um, continue on using the same fonts. So we just go click on add text and type it in there, it's a little bit small. You can just drag the corner to make the font go bigger or you can slide it up that way. Um, I'm going to change that text. And I'm also going to change the colour. You can click on here and get a colour from the page. Um, you can drag this around to find the colour you like, or you can type in the colour if you know what you're using. one down is called overlays. Now they've got loads of overlays you can use from their library. Um, it's a bit overwhelming sometimes. Um, what am I going to do? I'm going to do a little crit. This little dude. Here. Make him a little bit bigger. I'm going to change his colour. That same orangey red, and that color is going to be black. Okay, so ah, oh, border. Borders are good. I I normally do the simple edge one. It gives you two an inside and an outside. I normally take the inside one straight off. Bring the outside one down a bit thinner, change the outer colour to that. You can also change the corner radius and add a caption space at the bottom. I'm not going to do a border today though. The drop shadow is quite good. I may use that sometimes. Um, next one down here is filters. If you want to put um, a metal look to your image or a burst, starburst. Um, Not going to do that today, though. Um, and down here is is themes. So um, every now and again, Pick Monkey bring out new themes. They've got School You, Vampires, Zombies. My kids like making turning their faces into <laughs> vampires and zombies. Um, I generally go into School You because I've got quite a few um, good overlays to use. Um, I'll go to Dashes and Mines. Put an arrow underneath. Um, 
Um, and finally, I'm going to put um, a faded background. So it's not, going to, it's not going to be black. It's going to be faded out to about 75%. This is quite good if you've got um, white text that you want to put over a light background. And then when you finish, make sure you put it right to the back so that the text pops out. Okay, and oh, and I'm going to add a logo. So you don't have to use only the overlays. You can upload your own one. So I'm going to upload a small transparent logo. Over there. Put that in the corner there. Okay, so that um, can be used as a web banner for a website, um, an email, or a iPhone app. Final thing you do is you save it. I normally just have it on Pierce. Save to my computer. Header. Save it as a JP. You can save it as PNG as well. Saved. Now I'm quickly going to show you how to um, save images that you find online. So you might be working with um, somebody and they want you to um, edit their logo or a background from their website. So I'll just show you ways you can do that. So go to your, um, your client's website. Basically any image on the website you can download. Um, for example, the logo, you simply hover over it, right click, save image as. You can also open image in new tab so you make sure you know um, what image you're saving. And as you can see, that's the one we want. Right click, save image as, and save it in the file. Um, not all images you can do that easily. For example, if you want to copy this background, when I right click on it, there's nowhere where it says save images. So in that case, um, because I'm using Chrome, I can use the handy inspect element button. And that will bring up this box down the bottom. Um, and I head over here where it says background image and I'm going to right click on that, open link in resources panel. And here's the background. So when I open that in a new link, there's the background that I can then save it into a folder. You can also go through um, all of their resources and copy any other images you want to get from their website. For example, if you wanted to save their slider images, you would just do the same. Now there is a way you can edit images from on Pigment Monkey directly from the web. Um, so you, you can see I've got an extension called PicMonkey, and I'll just click on that, and then click on the bottom image, and it should open PicMonkey. So as you can see, the background is now easily opened up in PicMonkey. I didn't have to download it and then open it up again. Um, so then you can resize, crop it, as we were doing before. Now there's two other tools that, I, that you can use to edit images. Um, one's called Paint, 
most Windows based computers will have paint. I've just saved it um, in my toolbar down the bottom. So this is for quickly resizing and cropping images. Open. You see this image I've opened is quite large. So I'm going to go to resize and I'm going to click on pixels and then I'm going to 650, much better. Um, and then I just want to crop that bit. So that's quite easy. Um, here also you can put all sorts of um, edits. You can write instructions. Um, it's quite a good tool, but it's not an online based tool. It's, um, it's a program that you've downloaded to your computer. Um, and also another download um, Windows tool that's quite handy is called the Snipping Tool. And if you can't for any reason save an image and you or you want to capture a um, conversation or a comment thread on Facebook, then if you go to the Windows Snipping Tool, which you'll find in the Start menu, go New, and then you can click anywhere on the website and save that as an image. I I use that and I also use an extension called Awesome Screenshot, which is quite easy to use as well. One click. Uh, you can capture the visible part of the page, the selected area, or the entire page or a local image. Uh, I'm just going to do visible part of the page. And then I'm going to crop it. And then you're done. And you can save it as an image or you can send somebody the link. And just copying that link and, and sending it to somebody on email or chat and they can see it straight away. So that's fine. Okay, so that's all I'm going to share today. Um, if there's anything more advanced you want me to go over in PicMonkey, um, let me know and I'll shoot another video. Thanks for listening.